I welcome all of you to the 2018 Nicholas School of the Environment undergraduate graduation ceremony. I'm very happy to see all of you. My name is Charlotte Clark. I've had the privilege of teaching many of your sons and daughters. And uh, I am now the director of undergraduate programs and your MC of a sort, although there will be many of us. Um, long ago, I went here, and so I, in 1979, I graduated, and so I sat in the seat where you students are seated. I have a son who went to Duke, so I've also sat in the seat where some of you parents have seat, are seated. I'd like now to introduce some of the other people who have made this experience wonderful for your students. Um, first here is Alex Glass. He is the Director of Undergraduate Studies for Earth and Ocean Sciences. Chantal Reed is the Director of Undergraduate Studies for Environmental Sciences and Policy. Tom Schultz is the Director of Undergraduate Studies for Marine Science and Conservation. And Jeff Vincent, who I'll introduce more in a minute, is our Dean here at the Nicholas School. Supporting all of this work are some really important staff people, and I, I think some of them are here. Uh, Katie Wood. Park, Park Watson, are you here? In the back, Park. Wendy Womble. All three of these folks are down at the Marine Lab. And here, Amy Kirkland is uh, up here on Main Campus. There are many other staff here who are not directly involved at all times with undergrad, and we really appreciate them being here in support of our ceremony today. Seated in front of you are some of the faculty who have taught your students in the major, advised them in regards to coursework, and maybe life, mentored them in a research lab, an independent study, or a graduation with distinction program, and taken them on field trips around the world that have often been transformative. I'd like to name each one and ask them to stand and turn around so that you can associate a face with a name, parents and family, and that way you might be more easily able to identify them later on in the reception and get a picture. Please hold your applause until I introduce all of them. From the Marine Lab, Javier Baserto, stand up Javier and turn around, an Associate Professor of Sustainability Science, Lisa Campbell, Professor of Marine Affairs and Policy, Megan Dumphy Daly, Director of the Rachel Carson Scholars Program, David Johnston, Associate Professor of the Practice of Marine Conservation Ecology, Andy Reed, Stephen A. Toff Professor of Marine Biology and Director of the Duke Marine Lab. By the way, a little tangent, did you notice all the names in Andy's title? We academics have a tradition to honor particularly distinguished faculty with named professorships or chairs that have been endowed by alumni or friends. So if you hear me say a professor's name followed by another name, that second name indicates the specific endowed chair that they have been honored to receive. So here's another example. Dan Richoff is the Norman L. Christensen Professor of Environmental Sciences. Brian Silliman, the Rachel Carson Associate Professor of Marine Conservation and Ecology. Betsy Albright, an Assistant Professor of the Practice for Environmental Science and Policy Methods. Lori Benier, Julie Plant Granger, Associate Professor of Energy Economics and Policy. Jessica Hartman, Postdoctoral Research Associate. David Hinton, Professor of Environmental Quality. Tim Johnson, Associate Professor of the Practice in Energy and the Environment. Randy Kramer, Julie Plant Granger, Professor of Global Environmental Health. Joel Meyer, Truman and Nellie Siemens, Alex Brown and Sons, Associate Professor of Molecular Environmental Toxicology. Stuart Pym, Doris Duke Professor of Conservation Ecology. Dan Richter, Professor of Soils and Forest Ecology. Did I miss anyone? Oh, Grant Murray, also down from Rio. I'm so sorry, Grant. Welcome, everyone. logistical details. Today we will award diplomas to over 50 undergrad majors and celebrate some special awards for some students, followed by a reception in Environment Hall right down the street here where we'll get to meet your families. Although we love the pomp and circumstance of tomorrow's ceremony, we really like this more informal, intimate ceremony with just you. 
With, if you want to take pictures of your graduate, please feel free to come up and do so. Don't stand, we don't stand on ceremony there. We do have a professional photographer who will be taking pictures, and those will be available as well. Um, and uh, in a moment, when we get to the reason you're here, which is to uh, graduate each of these students, we have a few sentences that we will get to read about each student. And I'm pleased that with our size of department, we can do that. Lastly, students, immediately after the ceremony, please, we want to take a group photo at the pond right across the street before you walk up to the reception. Um, I would now like to introduce Jean, Dean Jeffrey Vincent, who's the standback dean of the Nichols School and has a named chair as the Clarence F. Christian Professor of Forest Economics and Management. He's going to say a few words to welcome you himself and will be the person to actually hand the diploma to your students. Um, Jeff has many accolades to his name in his research and in his writing, but today I want to particularly mention that he has worked very hard on behalf of our undergraduate program, and we are particularly appreciative of that. We're delighted that he can participate with us. Thank you, Charlotte, and good afternoon, everyone. As Charlotte said, I'm Jeff Vincent, uh, Standback Dean of the Nichols School of the Environment. And it's my great pleasure to welcome you to the Nichols School's 2018 Undergraduate Commencement Ceremony. Students, today the Nichols School honors your hard work and accomplishments, and we offer congratulations to the members of your families and your friends who are with us and who supported you during your time at Duke. I received brief biographical sketches of each of you, and maybe that causes you some concern. I enjoyed learning more about you. Uh, first impressions matter, as they say, and, and you are an impressive group. One thing that struck me was that for many of you, a single program at the Nichols School was not enough. Some of you combined a minor in environmental sciences with a major in earth and ocean sciences, or the reverse. Others added our marine science conservation concentration or earned our certificate in marine science and conservation leadership. As that suggests, many of you have spent time not only here in Durham, but at our marine lab campus in Beaufort, North Carolina, a place that I have escaped to whenever I've been able to and will continue to do so in the future. Um, others of you completed our certificate in energy and the environment, and many of you wrote about field courses and Duke Engage projects led by Nichols School faculty as being among your most memorable Duke experiences. The locations that you mentioned include Australia, Iceland, Mexico, New Zealand, Singapore, and South Africa, as well as West Virginia and locations around uh, North Carolina. Many of you received Standback internships. Uh, Standback internship program is the largest environmental internship program in the country, and it's proudly administered by the Nicholas School. Those internships enabled you to do important work with a wide range of impactful environmental organizations. I'm pleased that the Nicholas School is able to offer such a rich range of academic and experiential opportunities to you, but I'd be more pleased that you took advantage of them. I was also pleased to learn about the energy you've invested in various extracurricular activities, including the Environmental Alliance, the Duke Energy Club, Students for Sustainable Living, and the Sustainable Ocean Alliance, as well as working with the Duke Campus Farm and Sustainable Duke. Your efforts have made Duke and Durham more sustainable. And given how busy you've been, I suspect you have four years of sleep to catch up on. Now, some of you have clear plans for your post-baccalaureate career, at least based on what you wrote in your bio sketches. Um, in some cases, those plans pertain to environmental work, which, of course, makes me happy. Um, in other cases, they don't, but that's okay, too. Um, I'm happy with that as well. Um, no matter what you do next, I hope you'll carry forward some aspect of your experience as an earth and ocean sciences major, an environmental sciences and policy major, or marine science conservation concentrator. For example, given how many of you dual majored or minored in such fields as economics, global health, and public policy, as you become leaders in finance, public health, and government, I hope you'll use your influence to advance sustainability. For others of you, what comes next is less clear, and that was my situation when I graduated from college. I didn't stumble into my field of environmental economics until several years um, after I graduated. And that worked out fine for me, um, and given your evident talents, I'm sure it will work out fine for you too. If your next step turns out to be further studying the environment, then I hope you'll take a look at our master's or doctoral programs when the time comes. There's still much to learn about how our planet works, how humans are affecting it, and how we can address the environmental problems that we've created. Uh, generating the knowledge we need and putting it to work effectively 
is hard work, but it's rewarding work, and we need bright minds such as yours. Whatever comes next, please keep us informed as your lives and careers unfold. We regularly profile an alum in the lower left corner of our website, and this is uh, across all of our degree programs, but the alum who is currently um, being profiled is a uh, Bachelor of Science uh, uh, graduate, so we have an undergrad being profiled. Um, this could be you in the future, so let us know what you're doing. We'd love to profile you. Visit, visit us when you're back on campus for reunions or other events, uh, which I suspect might include basketball now and then. Uh, and between visits, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media platforms will develop in the future. We'll be there. You'll be able to find us. So I wish you all the best, and again, congratulations.